Okay, now here you see there are seven new icons which are actually not available on the app drawer by default. All these are hiding in the settings menu. As you can see, we have got an icon for private share, Samsung Cloud, Bixby Routines, Finder, Accessibility, Device Care, as well as Digital Wellbeing. When you tap on these icons, they are going to take you to the respective settings menu. It becomes very easy to access these specific settings by just tapping on these icons. But for that, you need to bring them onto the home screen or to the app drawer. Now let's see how to do that. The first one is private share. To bring this onto the app drawer, what you need to do is just go to settings, biometrics and security. Here when you scroll down, you will see private share option. Just tap on this. Now the private share feature is opened. Here you will see a settings option on the top right corner. Just tap on this and here we have a switch to add private share to app screen. When you turn on the switch, you will see this all new icon sitting there on the app drawer. And you can just press and hold on that to add it to the home screen as usual. Now this is the same process to bring the rest of the app icons as well. Now let's see how to bring Samsung Cloud icon on the home screen. Let's go to settings. Let's go to accounts and backup. Here all the way down, we have Samsung Cloud. Tap on that. On the top right corner, you see this three dot. Tap on this and go to settings. Again, here we have a switch to add Samsung Cloud to app screen. Just turn on the switch and you will see this app icon on the app drawer and then you bring it to the home screen. Likewise, let's go to Bixby routines now. Let's go to the settings. Let's go to advanced features. You've got Bixby routines here. Now again, tap on this three dot button on the top right corner. Go to settings. Here we have show Bixby routines on app screen. Enable this toggle, we are good to go. We have got this all new icon on the app drawer which you can bring it to the home screen. Then we have got this finder. This is a bit tricky. Uh, now we all know what finder is, right? When you tap on finder, you will directly go to the search on the app drawer. Now to bring this icon here, what you need to do is first you go to the app drawer and then tap on search. This is when you need to tap on this three dot button on the top right corner. Without tapping on search, if you tap on this three dots on the top right corner and go to settings, you will not get that option to create the app icon on the home screen. So do exactly this. Go to app drawer, tap on search. Now you tap on this three dot button, go to settings. As you can see, this is a finder settings. Now here we do see an option, add finder to app screen, enable this toggle, and we have this icon on the app drawer, right? Now accessibility, Likewise, just go to settings, go to accessibility, tap on three dot button on the top right corner. Here we just have one option, add to home screen. Just tap on this, you will get this icon here. Then uh, device care, go to settings. Here you go to battery and device care, tap on the three dots. On the top, you'll see add apps to the home screen. Here you are seeing remove from app screen because I have already enabled it. If you have not enabled it, you will get add app to the home screen. So you know what to do if you want to remove that app icon from the app drawer, right? Now let's go back. Again, the digital well-being, go to settings, tap on digital well-being and parental controls, tap on the three dot, go to settings, enable the switch, show digital well-being on the app screen. This is how you can bring in all these seven icons which are hiding in the settings menu. That's about it. You guys let me know what do you think about bringing all these new app icons from the settings menu to the home screen, whether they're going to serve any purpose, whether they're going to be useful, do let me know in the comment section below. If you're new on the channel, do subscribe and become a part of Apex community and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Thanks again for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.